For this painting of Monument Valley, I don't think any masking is actually necessary. I've drawn out the structures, but I think because of the difference in color that any blue, if I do the sky first, will be well hidden by these much darker um, sepia orange tones. So I'm going to begin with the sky with some alcohol, some cloudy blue, sailboat blue, lemonade, and mountain rose and just do a passage across. I'm going to start by covering the sky with a layer of alcohol. So this is our sky for the Monument Valley piece. And here's our reference photo again. At this stage, I'm going to go ahead and put in all of the um, orange rock. And I'm going to use Sunset Orange and Ginger to start with. We'll need some darker values for sure, but this will give us uh, a good start. And I'm just going to cover probably all of this area, maybe even down into the foreground, but these colors are, are quite a bit darker. So I'm just going to brush in some color and I'm starting in the center because it's going to expand and I want it to not go out of the lines. You can see that I'm holding the paper not quite vertically, but I'm certainly more upright than flat and that is to keep the ink um, flowing down if it decides to flow. I'm just going to um, add a layer of this ginger all the way through here. While the bottom is drying, I'm going to spread out some of this ink. I'm using some of the thicker ink to come up and fill in these spaces. I'm going to add some more ink into the buttes. I think this, this ink down here is still wet, so I will make sure I don't drag my hand through it. This is an eggplant, and I'm going to add some darker values in. Our foreground is also um, quite dark. Continue to use some eggplant and add in a few areas of dark. Move some more shadows through. There's some land in the distance, and it's a kind of a paler shade of. Um, these orange tones. I 
I'm going to use the pointy swath and do some lifting to find our lighter spots. So while this uh, foreground area is very, very dark, it's not completely without uh, texture. So I'm going to use the cotton ball and just try to create some slight texture in it. I want to keep the value of it, but it's not as uh, uniformly dark as it looks. going to use the cotton ball with some ginger and just go back over. There were a few too many fuzzies that way, so I'm going to dab in the ginger with the brush then. I'm going to um, just lighten our very far background a little bit with some alcohol. In our reference photo, our rocks are quite a bit more orange than are showing up here. So I'm just adding some sunset orange into some of the highlighted areas. I'd like a little more intensity in this ink. So this is the sunset orange with a little bit of honeycomb in it. And I'm just going to let it um, evaporate for a few seconds here before I put it on. the sepia pen. I'm going to work on some of the edges. some lightning with the cotton swab. And this is some more orange.
there's some very pale, um, dark clouds in the background. This is the cotton swab. I'm going to just dab them in. And I'll soften them with the pointy swab. I'm going to add some interest by splattering some alcohol and some brass on it. And word to the wise, close the lid of the brass before shaking, otherwise you will splatter whether you wanted to or not. So this is some alcohol. And some of the brass. So this is a uh, mat. I'm probably going to not want that part of it in the painting. And I'm looking at different croppings. That has a lot of the foreground. And that has a little bit less. Regardless, I think I need to add some more highlights through both of the um, butte or monument structures. This is a, a kind of a gold marker. This is honeycomb. and the sepia pen. Mm -hmm. Just soften this a little bit. I'm going to add a moon over here, maybe right here. And I'm going to do it by a drop of alcohol and then pulling it out. 